talk? Please talk. Okay. <laughs> so it's on. It's on. Oh, we're taping. Okay. So now I am knitting the leg on the sock, and I will knit 50 rows. I have a counter. That's what you can hear clicking, and it counts off every single row as I knit it. When I'm knitting the tube for the leg of the sock, my machine will knit as fast as it can turn. I can turn the crank. Right now, I'm only knitting with 36 needles. That'll make a very small sock. My cylinder will hold up to 72 needles, so I can make adult size socks just as easily on the machine. And we're almost done with knitting a leg. And here it comes. And one, two, three, four. Okay, now I've finished knitting the leg. The first thing I do is I move the weights up. A sock knitting machine needs to have a lot of weights pulling the knit fabric down. And each one of these weights weighs a pound. It's got a hook on it, and so it just hangs on that weight buckle. Then to shape the heel, I have red nail polish at the halfway point on both sides. So that lets me know where the halfway point is. I pull all of the needles on the back half of the cylinder up out of operation. And so they'll just sit there while I'm doing the rest of the heel. This part then I knit back and forth. But first I have to hang a few more weights. And my weights are cuckoo clock weights and they're hung from a fondue fork so I can get it all the way up inside. And by having the weights on it, it push, pulls the knit fabric down tight against the base of the needles so it doesn't jump off the needles. Now the process of shaping a heel, I go back and forth and I lift one needle up out of operation on each side so each row gets one stitch shorter. And I have blue nail polish that marks where I stop pulling up and that will be the center part of the heel. And we're now at the middle point. I raise the weights back up. And there's the blue nail polish right there. And now I reverse it and I push one needle down each time I go around. And this is a Gearheart brand sock knitting machine. There were several dozen sock knitting machine manufacturers in the United States, but the Gearheart company was one of the largest. And during World War I, when the nation needed to provide so many socks for the soldiers, the Gearheart Company stepped in, and what they did is they donated 15,000 machines to the Red Cross so that the Red Cross was able to organize knitting workshops for the women to get together and knit socks for the soldiers. So now I've finished shaping the heel. I put all of the needles back down in operation. I make sure the latches are all open so I don't drop any stitches. I start cranking. I put this screw back in so it will flip the lever. And now I will knit a total of 65 rows for the foot. And then I will shape the toe the same way that I shape the heel. And when I'm knitting the socks, I knit them all in one long string that's one sock after another. And this is what a string of socks looks like. What are you doing? And at the end of the day, then I will cut the socks apart. Right here, 
You can see that is the toe, and I will fold the toe up and hand stitch that last seam to the top of the sock, and it makes a finished sock. And I can knit an adult pair of socks in about an hour. And then it takes about another 15 or 20 minutes to hand sew the toe tops to finish up the sock. No, it doesn't matter. As long as you have boys, girls, or somebody wants to see the Italian. And then my socks are thrown into the washer and dryer one time before they're uh, blocked and matched up and tagged, and then they're ready for sale. And my sock knitting machine was made yeah, in really 1906, so it's 104 years old. I got my machine from a gentleman up in northern Wisconsin, and this machine used to belong to his great aunt, and he was in his 80s when I got the machine from him, but he said he could remember as a kid watching his aunt make socks for the family on this knitting machine. She was from Czechoslovakia, so I have the original instructions that are handwritten in Czech so that she had the directions for the socks but because it's got the numbers on it, I can recognize what size socks the directions are probably for because the sock patterns are made by a certain number of rows for the cuff, the leg, and the foot. I can change the size of a sock by the number of needles that I'm using. I can also raise and lower this screw and that makes the stitches larger or smaller and I can change the size of the yarn. So with all of those different changes I can make socks that range in size from a baby socks up to fit a man's size 16 shoe. That's the biggest sock I've ever been asked to make. And that's a mighty big sock. <laughs> Very nearly done with the toe. So how long have you been doing this? Um, I got my first sock knitting machine about 15 years ago, but I've been knitting socks on a regular basis and doing it what I think of as seriously for about the last three or four years. Um, I live in Hannibal, Missouri, and there's a farmer's market just a few blocks from my house. So every summer from April to October, I will take my sock knitting machine down to the park and I set up my machine and I demonstrate socks and sell there. And what I'm about ready to do now is the very last step and that is knit a few rows with this white cotton waist yarn and that will let me know where one sock ends and the next sock starts. So that little baby sock is all done now? Yes. Except for sewing up the toe, it is all done now. So you can really see the rows add on quickly when you've got the white yarn in contrast with the color. Yep. Yeah, you can knit really, really fast. I have seen people who are able to knit a pair of adult socks in 40 minutes, start oh. to finish. And now I'll take the weights off and I will run this off of the machine. And that's the oh, way you and there it the goes. Work. And there is the, the finished baby. sock. So after it's thrown into the washing machine, yes, the stitches look fairly loose right now, but it will snug up. But that's the finished sock. Beautiful. Thank you. My pleasure.